I've got something for you. A letter. A letter for me? That's impossible. Who the hell are you? Western Union. Actually, a bunch of us at the office were kind of hoping maybe you could shed some light on the subject. See, we've had that envelope in our possession for the past 70 years. My name is Afu Manchu, and well, it hasn't been 70 years since I've had them, but I've got some mail backing up over here because that idiot over there left me. I don't know where he is. He still hasn't come back. And he's the guy who did all the mail and stuff like that. You know, I don't know. But anyways, I've got these two packages over here that have been waiting for me to make a review of them. But no, they just sat over there on my desk just waiting, gathering dust, because he was supposed to remind me, where did you go? I'm yelling into the air. Anyways, yep, today we're going to do a very special food reviews. So, let's go grab one of these and see what lies within. Now, the first package that I'm going to review is the one that came the first. And that is from Gubslev. Yep, that's right. Look at there. It's from Agent 0820725618. 314, and it's Project Agogo completed. That's right, he was on a mission to steal some figures from Felsbug while Felsbug was in New Jersey. And if you look there, I'm petting him on the head as he hugs me, and we're kicking old Felsbug into some fire, and we're saying, Go away, Felsbug! And Felsbug is going, Oh no, I is stupid and dead. That's right, going into the fire, Mr. Felsbug. But yeah, see, I'm saying, Good job, best. I'm not saying that. Agent ever. That's right. Well, you see, while Felsberg was off in Jersey, I had Gubs left on a mission to steal some figures from the dark recesses of Felsberg's closet. That's right. We're going back to Strata, what, 1990-something, and we're going to see what lies within. Now, opening the box and looking inside... We will see. Yes, Project Agogo was completed. <laughs> so let's pull these out and look at them. First up, we have the Bandai Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Lord Zed, that is right. From 1994 of Felsbug's Closet, we find this Lord Zed figure, and he looks amazing. I absolutely love him. Check him out. He's got like a clear belly and everything. That's pretty cool, man. But yeah, this is very cool. Now, Felsbug apparently likes to stick old figures in his closet and not touch them. And I told Gubslev, we can't have that now, can we? And Gubslev, knowing what a Power Ranger fan I am, stole these and mailed them to me. Of course, I had to, uh, you know, pay the uh, postage when it got here because Gubslev's a cheapskate. Chase! Don't you get an allowance, Gubslap? Anyways, there you go. It looks amazing. Let's look at the back of the package, shall we? Now, here's the back of the package, and it's a series two action feature. Feature? Anyways, Evil Space Aliens. Check that out. I should say figure, shouldn't it? Or, it says feature. Anyways, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, there you'll see Lord Zed and all his little minions and stuff. And I wish I had some minions. I've got Gubslap. He's not very good. He did steal these for me, but... Uh, it's not that good. Anyways, you'll see down here it says, Look for these other more phenomenal toys. Is more phenomenal in the dictionary yet? It should be. Anyways, it's got the story and it's got all of them. And I absolutely love those figures. Those are some of my favorite ones. And in fact, that's the very first ever Green Ranger figure. And I remember looking all over the place to get that figure when I was younger. And you know what? It took forever. And I remember the day that I saw one, a little boy was carrying it around. And it was literally the only one in the Toys R Us that I was at. And I did plan to murder him, but he did put it back. Eventually, his dad wouldn't buy it for him. So I kind of felt bad, but I kind of felt good, too. But I ended up getting it, and I love it. But anyways, I don't have it anymore. I wish I did. But you know what? These are awesome, and I absolutely love the Lord Zed figure. So let's move on and see what else is in the box. Hello, Lord Zed. Next up, we have the Bandai Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <gasps> Look at there. It's Goldar. Yes, who would Lord Zed be without Goldar? And you know what? Gubslef is essentially the Goldar to my Lord Zed. That's right. Check him out. He looks amazing. Oh, he just, he kind of does look like uh, Gubslef to me. I don't know. But you know what? This is a very awesome figure, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> Thank you, Gubslef, for stealing these for me. I love it. Let's look at the back of the package. And it's the exact same as the last one. Oh, no. Let's go look at Goldar again. 
Oh, and look at that. It says sword slashing Goldar. So he slashes himself with a sword. Why would he do that? But you know what? I love it. I love his wings. I just love it. Thank you very much, Gubslef. This is awesome. Next, next up, we have the Bandai Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And look at there. It's Zack the Black Ranger. Holy cow. I was just saying how much I like that Green Ranger. And here's the Zack with the cool flippy head thing. And I absolutely love that the figure did this. Because this was the first time that we ever got figures of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with their actual faces from the show. And it actually looked like them. And that is cool. I love it. Check him out. He's got that uh, mammoth on his chest. Very cool. Or as he would say, Mastodon. Yep, that's pretty cool. He's got his little laser gun there. Very cool indeed. Oh, look. He's got his little battle axe, too. I love it. And it looks like you could put them all together to make that big weapon that they always did. And he's got a tattoo. Check that out. That is awesome. Okay, let's look at the back of the package, shall we? And it's the same. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, check it out. Look at there. It does go together to make the big weapon. That is cool. It says Power Blaster. And look, he's having a problem there. He's like, oh, I don't know who I am today. Am I a Power Ranger? Am I Am I uh, the Red Ranger? I don't know. Help me. Anyways, that looks pretty cool indeed. Check it out. It's got a picture of all of them together. I love it. They look so cool together. I wish I still had my Green Ranger. Dang it. I don't have him anymore. Wish it did. And then down here it says uh, the action feature again. <laughs> It should not say action figure, but anyways, this is act. Oh, okay, I get it. Action feature, evil space. Okay, because they have action features. I get it now. Up here it says automorphin. Nah. Yeah, that's right. But over here, I guess it's because they do stuff, because he was sword slashing. Or sl Did I say sword? Anyways, he's sword slashing Goldar, and I guess the other one lit up or something. Let's, let's look at, uh, at Lord Zed again. Yep, it did. It says Evil Light, Lord Zed. That's right. So if you need an evil night light, there you go. Lord Zed will keep you awake at night. And I didn't see it comes with his uh, uh, Zed staff there. That's pretty cool. It's got like a little like spear in. Very cool indeed. Or maybe it's Zoro. I don't know. In, you know, in, in my country, that's how they teach my daughter to draw too. But anyways, let's look at Zack again, shall we? But yeah, I'm glad that that action feature word now makes sense. I thought it was supposed to be figure and they just screwed up. But no, I get it now. Okay, pretty cool ended. But you know what? These guys up here are even cooler because they have the flip around heads. And I think that is amazing. So let's go back to the front and look at Zack one more time. As the figure was falling down. Anyways, there you go. That looks amazing. And these are in great shape considering the age. And, you know, sure, the little cards may be bent up a little bit, but hey, they were in the bottom of, of Felsbug's closet. What do you want? But you know what? I love it. There's one more thing in the box, so let's go see what it is, shall we? Next, and the very last one, we have Bandai Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Holy cow, it is Tommy the Green Ranger, and he looks amazing, and this is the figure I used to have, and now I have it again, and that is awesome. Yes, Gubslef, you are going to get a raise. So let's look at the back of the package one more time. But we really don't need to because it's the exact same as Zack's, so that is cool. Let's look back at the front then. Yes, this figure is amazing, and I am so happy to have it, so thank you, Gubs Levin. Hey, wait a second. It's been opened. The tattoo's missing. Gubs Levin, you failed your mission. You had one mission and you messed it up. Ah, you're never coming back, ever, ever, ever. Oh, well, I'll play with this figure later anyways. Next up, we have another package, and this one is from Mr. Evil Cheese, and it's obviously labeled Yozmoe. You always with me. I don't know, but like I said, there's a little boomerang going whoosh, from the E to the Z. And that's just pretty cool. So let's open it up and see what lies within. So, as we're opening this, I guess it should be said that Mr. Evil Cheese had written me and said, Hey, did you ever, you know, open that package I sent you? And I was like, oh crap, man, it's been sitting on this desk this whole time. So, you know, I had intended to uh, to review the uh, one that Felsbug or Gubslef had sent me, and I never got a chance to do it, and just life, you know, bleh, don't even get into it. But anyways, yeah, this one's been sitting there, and I thought, hey, I'll do a review of them together. So let's see what's in here, and see what he sent me. What? Oh, apparently he sent me a Target store. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's pull all this stuff out, shall we? Nope, upon a closer inspection, it's just a bag with something in it. So let's see what's in that bag. It looks like bubble wrap. 
Oh man, and this is awesome. First up we have wrestling action places. La Lute. That's right, and uh, apparently he's Le Portecu de Action. Aha, uh -huh, that's pretty cool. But if you look, it looks apparently like a Dr. D. Now, I have a Dr. D figure, but as you can see, this is a new Dr. D. And he had told me about this before. And he had said, uh, he's a little different. I don't know, they may, they changed him by making him look a little bit better, and he doesn't like it. He likes it when they have googly eyes and stuff, but yeah, this one actually has, like, a better paint job than the other one. Let's compare, shall we? Just stand there, Dr. D. Okay, I, I, I'll stand here. Anyways, if you look over there, you will see they actually painted his skin tone right. Oh, holy crap, man, that looks really good. I know, right? But if you look, too, he's got his sideburns painted a little bit different. Now, remember, his sideburns were, like, cut off, and he stuck them back on with double-sided tape. But apparently they did a better job over there. I don't know what's going on there. But if you look, his uh, head and his arms and stuff look a little bit better, like, skin tone-wise. Everything else is the exact same, as you can see. They didn't change his body or nothing. And they still haven't painted those weird bracelet things on his arms. But that's okay. I think he looks amazing. So, thank you, Mr. Mr. Evil Cheese for this Dr. D replacement. Wait, what? Next! Next up we have yet another wrestling figure, but this one is the unnamed character as of yet, and it looks amazing. Check him out, he's got a wrestling mask, he's got like long hair, he's got a dumbbell there, that's pretty cool, it's just like Captain Jackson, he's got a dumbbell, it's called Dr. D. But anyways, he's also got a stick with a bunch of nails sticking out of it, and that looks awesome. And it is so cool, I've never seen this one in the stores at all, I've looked around if you notice, the cards are different than the older cards, and I've looked everywhere for these silly things, and I couldn't find them. And he sent me these two, and that is awesome. So let's see what's on the back of the package, shall we? A lot of snow and a barcode. Yep, nothing. But yeah, these figures look amazing, so thank you, Mr. Evil Chase, for picking them up for me, because I know it was awkward to go get them, because it's far away from your house. It's in stupid wrestling action figure land, and you had to drive a million miles to get them, but I appreciate it. Thank you! Next up, we have a very unassuming bag there, and it ha Holy crap, look what's inside! It's Private Johnny Boogerface from the G.I. Blow Your Nose collection, and that is awesome! Let's check him out! This is the G.I. Blow Your Nose figure that I have been looking for for years, and he must have known it. Oh my gosh! Private Johnny Booger face, always picking at his booger. Check him out, he looks amazing. I love his eyes, those are so cute. And this figure just looks amazing. Thank you, Mr. Evil. Jeez, I can't believe you found this. He knew that I was looking for this, and he had been looking, I, he had said, oh my, and it, look, it's the fuzzy rare edition, too. It's got like a hair sticking off of it. That is so cool. You can't get these in the store anymore, man. But you know what? This looks amazing. So thank you very much, Mr. Evil Cheese. I love it. Oh, and look at this. Check this out. Look out. Look at how squishy and sticky he is. Oh, it's disgusting. Ah, oh, it's like a real booger. Oh, Private Johnny Booger Face, you are hard to find. Next up, we have another baggie. And if you look, it says, well, this probably looks suspicious. Oh, and it moved. Holy crap, there's something alive in there. Okay, let's look and see what lies within. He sent me a finger. Yep, a severed finger. But that's not all. For if you remove that red cap there, you will find that this finger has bubbles within it. <laughs> a bubble finger, yeah. I got a Private Johnny Booger face. And a bubble finger. That is awesome. Now, it is worth noting that Mr. Evil Cheese drinks a lot. And that's probably why I got a bubble finger. Anyways, there's one more thing here. And check it out. It's all bubble wrapped up, so it must be important. So let's remove the bubble wrap and see what's inside. Now, inside you will find some cardboard that says there's a picture in this. So let's flip it over before we open it. Now, the other side says there's a... Uh, read the other side. Well, I already did. There's a picture in this. so oh, that is pretty cool. So let's open it and see what kind of picture it is. Holy crap, man! Now, I just snuck a peek. But this thing requires a little backstory. So, if you remember, I sent Mr. Evil Cheese the following. Now, a while back, I drew him a picture of himself and Zombie Cat as Predator characters. That's right. So, these are the pencil sketches. Slowly turning into the inked version. And now the colored version. 
So yeah, that's what I sent him a long time ago. Now the uh, finished product or whatever the finished drawing has down here, it says predicated to uh, Mr. Evil Cheese or whatever. And uh, yeah, apparently he liked it enough to put it on his wall. So that's pretty cool. Now I drew him this quite a while ago. And then uh, not too long ago, I sent him a figure that looks a little something like this. This is a review of the Hot Toys Predators Tracker Predator action figure. Also known as Tusky Man. Tusky Predator. Tusky Man. No matter. But this is another awesome present from Fu Manchu. Hey, that's me. He sends us so many awesome presents that I don't even, I don't even know how to be like this present's so awesome. Or I don't know, because I, I already said that about the other presents. And I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> he, now, when I sent him that, I told him he had to do something for me, and I told him to draw me a picture. That's right, and uh, he did, and it looks awesome. And on the back of the picture, he wrote the following. He wrote, thanks for the tracker predator and dog, and you make one weird-looking predator. So let's find out what he means by that. Now, working our way up in my cool oriental robes, you will find, holy cow, man, check that out. Out, he drew Darth Predafu. Now you're probably saying, hey, where does the Darth part come in? Well, I killed Darth Maul and took his lightsabers for my blades, and that is awesome. Check this out. This, <laughs> this is just amazing. I absolutely love it. He, you know, because I drew him in Zombie Cat as Predators, and he ran with this. Check it out. I got the little Predator Fu Manchu mustache growing there, and that looks awesome. Awesome! I love it. And the color scheme with the red robes and stuff, that just fits in so perfectly. I'm, Of course, I'm ripped a little bit more than that, because I got a cool tin Barbie doll body. But, uh, yeah, so I got a lot more abs than that. But anyways, you'll notice there, there's two little skulls there, and that looks awesome. Over here, you've got poor old Darth Maul going, why did you kill me? I, I don't know, I had to do it. And down here, you'll see my knee plate, and this looks so amazing. And look at how the lightsaber's glowing there. Very cool indeed, and I love the light reflecting on the fingers. So cool! I love it. So yes, thank you, Mr. Evil Cheese. This is awesome, and it's going straight onto the wall. That is so amazing. So, wow, man, what a great set of mail packages that I got. I got four really cool figures from Godzilla. Thank you, Godzilla! Thank you! Thank you, Felsberg, for donating them to me because I love them! They're amazing! And I was just kidding, Godzilla. If you can come back anytime you want, because seriously, I'm understaffed! Where'd you go? Anyways, yes, I'm understaffed, so you can find the stupid, idiot, nondescript moron over there. If you can find him, bring him back, too. But anyways, yeah, thank you, Godlev. I love those Power Ranger figures. And I absolutely love that picture on the side of the box, because I love it. It's so cute. I love it. And uh, that was the first thing I saw when I picked up the package. It was sitting out there on the porch, and I pulled it in, and I was like, Ah, oh, I love the drawing. It's so awesome. And uh, thank you, Mr. Evil Cheese, for the Dr. D and that cool-looking wrestling guy. And uh, and Private Johnny Booger Face. Oh, my gosh, I've been looking for him for years. Thank you. And uh, the Bubble Finger. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, of course, the Predafu. The Darth Predafu, I should say, drawing. That is amazing, and I love it. Thank you. So to both of you, thank you very much. And to everybody else, why'd you watch this? I don't know. But I hope you liked it, and I hope you had fun. So, until next time, tune in for more Foo Reviews. <laughs> come on, guys. You deserve to make the walk by yourself. Come on. There you go, Gumslip. Okay, come on, Mr. Evil Cheese. You guys go together. You deserve it. Thanks for the cool presents, guys. I love them.